and thanks so much for joining me today. Um, can you explain to me what duration is? Sure, Tom. Duration is an attempt to measure a bond or a bond portfolio's sensitivity uh, to movements in interest rates. So it's one way of assessing the risk of a bond or a portfolio of bonds. Mathematically, the original duration measurement uh, was basically a weighted average of the time to maturity of all of a bond's cash flows, its coupons as well as its principal repayments. Over time, there have been various refinements to the duration measurement. So there are a number of different durations uh, out there. When, a, when an analyst today talks about a bond or a portfolio's duration, they're usually talking about modified or effective duration. And that really measures uh, the bond's price sensitivity to movement and yield. Uh, more technically, uh, if, if a bond has a duration, say, of 5, 5.0, that suggests that the bond's price would change 5% where there are 1% change in yields. So if a bond's yield went from 3% to 4%, you would expect that bond to lose about 5% well, uh, in price. And is it a precise science? Duration measurements, they're precise in, in, in how you calculate them, uh, but that's a very good question because uh, duration has some pitfalls. One, it is really a more accurate measurement over very small movements in yield. The price-yield relationship of a bond is not a straight line, it's a curve. Yeah. And again, mathematically, uh, what the sort of modified duration calculation represents is really the slope of that curve at the bond's yield today. Uh, but uh, a, a curve does not have a constant slope. Uh, so as yield moves, uh, it's, it's the slope changes, therefore duration changes. So, so it's a more precise measure over very small changes in yield. Also, bonds with embedded options, uh, with calls or, or puts, or, or mortgage-backed securities with, with all sorts of potential prepayment streams, uh, duration calculations are, are less effective for those bonds. And finally, duration actually assumes that the shift in the yield curve, the move in interest rates, uh, is done in a parallel fashion throughout the yield curve. Fran, is it just one way to calculate duration? There are a variety of duration calculations. Right. As I mentioned, most uh, bond analysts, when they're, when they're referring to duration, are usually talking about modified duration or effective duration, which is trying to capture that sensitivity of a bond's price to yield. Uh, but again, the original duration measurement was simply a weighted average time to maturity. That one is expressed in years. Actually, Macaulay duration, for instance, is expressed in years. Other types of duration are actually just expressed in units. So right. you say it, something has a duration of 5.0. Usually we're talking about a modified duration. Again, uh, when, when you start talking about bonds with options, you need to use a, even a, a different measurement, effective duration, for instance. Which, which measures a bond's movement over larger interest rate movements. Right. And just why does duration matter? Well, duration, again, is a, is a good way to measure the, the risk of a bond to movements in, in either interest rates or, or movements in its own yield. But it's very important to remember uh, several factors. One, uh, duration is not a constant number, so it does change as a bond's price and its yield changes. Number two, there are many other risks involved in investing in a bond or a portfolio of bonds. If you're invested in U.S. Treasuries, duration is really your main concern. Your, your, your main risk is interest rate risk. If you're invested in a portfolio of high-yield bonds, uh, credit risk is probably, has proven over time, in fact, to be more significant risk uh, by, by a fairly wide margin over interest rate risk. In fact, high-yield bonds, for instance, often show a negative correlation with, with treasuries, with interest rate movements. There are other types of risk as well. There's liquidity risk. Um, and as uh, we, we talked about earlier, there's also uh, the fact that not all interest rate movements or yield curve movements are parallel. And when they're not parallel, uh, the duration measure may not be as accurate in terms of even measuring uh, sensitivity of price to movements and yield. Wonderful. Thank you very much.